Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I'm going to try to show you a couple of video segments here. I'm going to show you the basics. I've shown this in a previous video uh, from MATLAB 2011. This is a more updated version. Pretty well, nothing's really changed. But uh, what I'm about to show you is how to send over data from Excel back into your MATLAB 2014B. That's what I got running here. And I'm using Office 2013, uh, obviously, for, for um, Excel 2013. So let me show you what uh, we need to do. First, you need to go into Excel and load in the MATLAB uh, XLA or add-in. Uh, these instructions are right here. It does work for anything after Office 2007. So it's, it's going to be posted on my blog follows the instructions. So what will happen is when you get to your Excel, it's pretty basic. Um, when you load in your uh, add-in, as you can see here, um, you have the ability to interact uh, between uh, your Excel and your MATLAB. All I'm going to show you is taking data from MATLAB, or sorry, from Excel and, and have it uh, get copied into the workspace of MATLAB. So in here, you have no, uh, numerous uh, options. You, you, you have to start MATLAB from within Excel um, because I guess this is the way Excel will be able to communicate with that particular session of MATLAB. Uh, I had another previous session with MATLAB already running and uh, this session of Excel didn't see it. So you have to start your uh, MATLAB session from Excel. Okay, so obviously we have various options here. Um, you can run MATLAB commands, you can grab uh, MATLAB figures from within uh, MATLAB and dump them into Excel. That's pretty cool. Um, there's some other things. Um, you can send name ranges to MATLAB, so I'm going to experiment that in the near term. I'm just going to show you the, ba the basics. So what I've got here, uh, let me just show you the proper MATLAB session. So this is the MATLAB session we're dealing with. Um, these two uh, variables, I guess, call them uh, in the workspace are from Excel. So essentially what I'm doing here is uh, from Excel, what I can do is I can say here in cell A13, so I'm going to give it a value of a thousand, okay? So what I can do is I can say equals, now I'm not an expert in, in MATLAB, but I guess you could say I know the, day, the, the uh, similarities. So I think it's put, yeah, here, let me just see what we got here. Let me just do this way. So here, I'm gonna make this change, create a new uh, variable called C, but I'm actually gonna call, uh, copy in A13. Right? So here you can see there's no C, right? But watch. So um, I believe, let me just see here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, has been sent over from Excel. Um, not sure why there's uh, some errors here, but uh, uh, you can see it kind of works. But uh, oh, it must be something like this. Yeah, so that worked. Uh, let me just copy this. But in this case, uh, I'll call it D for something else. A13. Oh, no. <laughs> Golly gee. This, I'm not, like I said, I'm, I'm no expert in. in uh, let's see if I can copy this over. No, maybe. I don't know. Be the expert in Excel. Uh, I always call it D or something. I don't know. But uh, A13, so that should work, hopefully. Well, there's D anyways, but you get the idea. It works pretty good. Uh, I, that's all I need it for right now. I'm just keeping it plain and easy. Uh, I'll do another segment where I'm going to copy over a whole range uh, specifically from my XLQ, okay? So uh, I'll uh, do that in a sec.